here. Just want to walk you through the brand new hole command inside of Autodesk Inventor 2019. And the first thing you're going to notice is that the hole command isn't in a dialog box anymore. It's in what we call a panel. And you'll you probably remember that the measure command looks like this, iLogic, even the browser looks like this now. And there's some really cool benefits that happen here. Number one, you know, it it kind of sits on top of your user interface, or it did previously when it was a dialog box. But what I can do if you watch when I drag this, if I'm above the browser, you see the blue line, or if I'm on the browser, I can have this in a few different areas. If I put it above, obviously I'm gonna have my whole command above the browser. So if I shut the whole command off and I reissue it, it remembers where the whole command was. I can also take that whole command and let's say I wanna put it beside the browser. So now I can switch back and forth between the browser and the whole command. It remembers where it was stored last, and I can even take that, and we'll pull that back out, and I'm gonna put it above my browser. I kinda like that location. So, obviously, like we've always uh, used the whole command if you have an existing sketch. So, I have a sketch here that's visible. I got 16 different centers. I'm gonna issue the whole command. Inside of the whole command, it picks up those centers. I'm gonna go to a simple hole with a counter bore that goes all the way through. I'm gonna add a few different dimensions here. And this one is going to be 9 sixteenths. And that's gonna be three and a half inches from that top face. And this one is going to be 11 30 seconds of an inch. And I'm gonna hit okay. So obviously issues the hole just the way you would expect it to working with a sketch. But the other thing that it does that's really cool is when you issue the hole command and you don't have an existing sketch, and I'm just gonna pick on a face and we'll start out right here. I'm gonna pick a face and just like we could before, I can dimension from this edge. We're gonna say that that's 20 millimeters, 20 millimeters, and we'll add another one over here, another 20 millimeters and another 20 millimeters. And I want this to be uh, just a regular hole and I want this to have a specific depth and I want this to be a flat bottom. And when I finish it up, I'm gonna hit okay. And there's my hole command. But the really cool thing is inside of that hole command now, there is a sketch that was created as I was generating those holes and laying out those dimensions. So really cool, if I come in here and I edit this feature, you'll see in the whole dialog box, sorry, whole panel, there's the whole information. So maybe I do wanna switch this to have some type of angle, but I can also go right to the sketch and change the sketch information at the same time. So if I wanna relocate these, I don't have to edit the sketch and the holes separately. I can now, edit those all in one, and I'm gonna hit okay. Those have obviously updated. So really great way to switch back and forth. Another thing that I really like about the whole command is the new presets. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna edit an existing hole because I, I wanna steal all the information about this particular hole and reuse it. So I'm gonna edit that hole and inside of the dialog box up the, I keep saying dialog box, inside of the panel, it's gonna take me a few. Inside of the panel, I have no presets, but what I wanna do is I wanna create a new preset, and you can see it picks up all of that information from this one. I'm gonna hit that checkbox to accept it. So now I've basically captured all the information for this particular hole, and I'm just gonna escape out of this, and I'm gonna add a few new holes on this cutout over here. So I will issue the whole command. And I'm gonna mix and match between concentric and linear placements. So I'm gonna pick this face, concentric reference, this face, concentric reference, this face, I'm gonna dimension from this edge, we're gonna come down 15 millimeters, we're gonna come over from this edge, 65 millimeters. And before I finish the command, I'm gonna pull down on my presets I'm gonna choose that preset. It's gonna grab all of that information about that hole and generate it for me. And you can also create your own presets rather than stealing them. It's obviously easier to just snag them from another hole, but let's say you wanna create a new preset and I'm gonna come in here and 
define this. This is going to be a simple hole. It's going to have a counter bore. It's going to be a specific depth. And I have the direction shows. We'll choose flat. And let's say this is going to be a half inch. Eighth inch for my depth. One inch altogether. Quarter inch. I will save that. And it'll see it names that. I'll show you how to change that name here in a second. Make sure you hit the checkbox or it doesn't save it. And now, even if I exit that hole command, I come right back in, you'll see that whenever I want to place that particular hole, it shows up as an available, not 0.2525. And we'll do this one as well. I can come in here, choose that particular preset. If I hit the plus sign rather than OK, it keeps you in the hole command. So I can issue that one. By default, it's going to actually grab the previous. Unless you actually have selected that particular preset, I can switch this to a different one. And you can see how you can very easily switch from one preset to another. Now, the interesting thing about the presets is you can rename them. So if you hit this little preset settings button, I can come in here, I can save a current one, I can rename a current one, and I can delete a current one. So let's say you don't want them uh, because you don't use that style anymore or you want to change the name so it's a little bit easier to understand. You can adjust the order that they show up in. So it could be recent, date created, alphanumeric, you name it. So really, really great functionality inside of the new whole command. And if you have any questions, just make sure you reach out and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.